Hi, this is Corbin, and I'm going to talk about my V36 unicycle frame that I'm building. I had to construct a jig to hold everything in alignment and straight, and so I'm going to describe the jig a little bit. First of all, I did a design in SketchUp, and this is the rough shape that I'm planning on having it be. I printed it up at full size so I can kind of see things laid out on my table. This is the, the main jig that I made for holding everything in alignment. The base portion is just a, a turned piece of steel uh, to the bearing diameter size. It's 100 millimeters on center, which is the standard width for our current unicycles. And it's a 42 millimeter bearing. Bearing caps were bought from unicycle.com. Unfortunately, the inside is a little bit too large of a lip to work with the geared 36 uh, schlumpf hub, the schlumpf hub. So what I did is I capped them onto the, I mounted them onto this guy when it was on the lathe and turned the inside a little bit so that it would actually fit inside the schlumpf hub. And, and you can see that the top side, the inside, has a slightly lower diameter than the other side. Once I made the jig a base to the correct dimensions, I welded on some tube, and it's just a regular steel tube. And the way this guy will work is the bearing caps will bolt onto here. I used my milling machine to accurately mill out some blocks, and these blocks are going to hold the tubing at a perfect straightness to everything. So the way that this guy works is the jig will be clamped and screwed in between these two guys and the tubing I desire will go from right here at the end of the bearing cap into here and be held straight I have two of these little attachments. Right now I just use them to kind of hold everything and see it, how it should be aligned. And what I have here, this is for the front portion of the V, which actually is going to have a vertical tube, which is more difficult. The normal V has a straight tube perpendicular to things. So my jig can have a different attachments on the top. This is the normal tube attachment. It will slip into here and I can then bolt it down and I can adjust the height of where it is. So if I want to make a 36 frame or a 24 frame, I can adjust where the tubing will actually appear. Once that's actually there, this is my seat post down tube. It will fit over the top of the tubing to hold it in place. The one for the front portion tube I wanted to be vertical, which was a little bit trickier. It's not exactly in line with this like a lot of V-frames are. And so to do that, I have another attachment that goes into here. And then I created and milled out the exact angle I want for uh, the, the, the jig. And I can adjust the height again if I want. And then what I will do is, this is my front post tube. It will just slip on down to here. The tubing will be bent. The, the wooden portion will hold the tubing in place as I weld it onto the front and to the bearing caps. And that's the basics for how the jig will work. To actually do the bending, I created a slightly less than the inside diameter of my 100 millimeter minus the width of the tubing, half inch tubing, chromoly. And I'll just use this to actually bend the tubing width, it'll be clamped on here and I'll just hand bend it around. I don't have the tubing yet so I can't do it. It's a basic overview of how I'm going to make this 36er frame.